So today I'm going to talk about yet another um, Skyline Insights API. Okay, this time around um, I've been asked about, hey, how do I show the affected objects? All right. Uh, in earlier presentations, I've shown you how to get it, how to get the findings. All right now, let's let's go a little bit deeper. So let's take a look, shall we? Here, let's take a look. And the way I'm going to do this is um, I'm going to set it up in two ways. One way is let's get the listings. And then let's go deeper in finding out the details, which is getting the affected objects. For this example, as you recall, here's this is your token. And here are the two servers that you need to talk to, one for the token and then one for the um, getting the data itself. All right, so all that is is all in here. So that's getting the token, all right? Leveraging your API token to get your access token. Here, I made it even simpler, okay? The curl command and everything that I've shown earlier is still the same. The slight difference, of course, is, is I limit it to five findings. You can put as many findings as you want, but for this example, I did five findings. And last but not least, what I've done was um, I've, I'm have i only interested in, in a few things. One thing is the finder ID, the product, and the affected objects. How many of them, right? So, for example, for my particular account, if I were to run this, What you're going to see is five responses back of the five popular ones that shows up in mine. And, and and the reasons why I want those variables is I need these two variables to go and get the details, get the affected objects. The reasons why I want the total is, is like you, you want to take a look on the top five items that you're interested in. And then you're going to find out, okay, how many objects am I attempting to fix? If the numbers are smaller, it may not. It may be at the bottom. Versus, if the numbers are higher, then then you're more likely to want to fix those problems. All right. So, so that's the affected objects part. Here, let's take a look at um, the details. Okay. So similarly, as you can see, this is also getting. You know, this is the variables. Here's getting the token again, and here's getting the data. The slight difference is 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 you'll see the section right over here. Um, earlier on, I mentioned, you know, there are two pieces that you need, right? So the finding ID and the product. Okay, so so finding ID and the product. In this script, I actually made it so that way it, it, it's it's more versatile. So so I'm going to throw um, the finding ID and the product in, and then it's going to respond back. For this particular scenario, the product is actually the source, like the vCenter that it's talking to, right? And here, I'm trying to get everything. But the things of importance is, as you can see, is this section right over here, trying to get the affected objects. And I limit it to 200. Luckily for us, for our presentation, right, um, there's only 43. But but if you have a decent amount of environments where this number is much higher, we can change this as well, right? So, so for this example, if I were to say, right, and then this time around, let's let's pick one. It doesn't matter. Let's, let's go for for this one, right? Because it has a smaller amount. So I'm just going to highlight this section. I'm going to throw it over here. I'm going to grab this section. Now I need the source. Right? So you can see I run the script and it does this. Here's number one. That's the finding ID. Here's number two. That's the product. So if I do that, there it is. So this section up above is similar to what it just gets a little bit more detail on, on what's going on. We could have gotten this within the Git, you know, listing as well, but but we didn't want to overcomplicate the view. So so we made it simple. Here we get to see the details, we get to see the KBs, we get to see a lot of bits of it. But last but not least, we get to see all the affected objects that come with it. Right? So this is just example of, of what it looks like. Um, following this, I will create more examples on how to even get more details on other aspects, okay? So stay tuned.